Hello there, as FSR 2.1 finally drops into Cyberpunk, we're gonna take a look how it stands versus FSR 2.1, which was made by Mothers, and in addition, we are comparing it to FSR 1, which was a horrible option, and the native 1080p, as most of us plays at this resolution. As you can see, FSR 2.1 implemented by developers gets just a little boost to performance. But what I like the most about it is the 1% loss, which is far superior to the mod. New FSR fixes bugs that I found in modded FSR. For example, almost all of the shimmering is gone. And I will say it, FSR 2.1 looks in most cases better than native 1080p. FSR lets you crank up graphics settings in game, without worrying about performance. I for example have started using ray traced lighting in game which was not an option without FSR 2.1. Without it, I would be stuck at around 30 frames per second, but with some tweaks in settings and enabling FSR 2.1, I am able to get solid 60 frames per second. But even if you are not a huge fan of ray tracing, you are able to get high refresh rate experience in Cyberpunk without worrying about blurriness which was pain in the ass with FSR 1. Take a look at this image. In native resolution there are missing lines which FSR fixed. Let's take this image as example. Can you guess which one is native? Let me know in the comments. First person that gets it right gonna get pinned in the comment section. So if you liked the video hit the like. If you didn't hit dislike. And subscribe to help me out make more videos like this.